what's up guys it's pixelated apollo thanks for stopping by and welcome back to the tug of war challenge where i'm facing my most hated enemy jackie fish hey what is up you ready to get destroyed again oh i am ready so this is game number two and i was sadly defeated it was a fluke but don't worry i'll turn it around <laughs> um, <laughs> sadly defeated so we're at game number two you are making progress you're pushing into my lands and i have to defend a moat in bailey against you and since you won the battle you you got to keep your experience for your troops yeah. and you got a thousand gold and uh, unfortunately, I only get 750. But you do get Defender um, most mainly. That melee, is true. So that is true. I that. get a settlement. Also, we upgraded or we, yeah, we spent an upgrade. So we were able to upgrade one unit. So I went for my infantry and I got the Militia Hillmen, which are pretty good, pretty reliable spearmen, which is really important in a siege battle. So, Jackie Fish, who did, who did you upgrade in your... Um, because your... I, was, I was sieging you, and because it was only a Mott and Bailey, so I'm only going to be trying to breach, like, uh, wooden walls, I decided to upgrade my artillery to Tier 1. So now I can actually field artillery. I get these Ballistae. Uh, you know, they'll be pretty good at bashing down walls and destroying towers and stuff. So I kind of took a risk. Instead of upgrading to Gondor Infantry, um, I kind of decided, you know, I'll just try and get, you know, some artillery on the field to maybe cause some mayhem. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And uh, also for the siege equipment, we we get uh, the ram at the start. Yeah, so. exactly. How many? Uh, can I just take as many as I want to? Or um, we... you want to? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, does it really uh, does it really matter? Because you're gonna be. No, you can bring as many. Yeah, because you're gonna okay. be. Your troops are a lot bigger, so you'll be able to like plug holes a lot more efficiently. So it doesn't right, really right. matter. Yeah, that, yeah, that's completely. Whereas right. I want to kind of concentrate my my manpower in one one section of a wall. Right. So, just just to remind you guys on the rules, uh, the siege equipment. You get the ram for free at the start, but if you want to get ladders or siege towers, you're going to have to spend an upgrade on that. So Which, will, which will obviously hurt you because then you're not spending that upgrade on getting better infantry. Infantry or cav or archers, yeah. yeah. Or so, you know, it's kind of a bit of a give and take, really. Which, you know, is what's like your choices on your upgrades are so important in, in yeah, this kind of mode. Yeah, it makes this strategy a lot more dynamic. Because you know? if I if I've now I've put my point into uh, Ballistae, I don't get better infantry. So now that means that your infantry, you know, are that little bit better, whereas mine have kind of just stayed stagnant and, you know, haven't right, really upgraded. because you focused. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is kind of like the campaign map. Yeah, kind of side exactly. Of for sure. Which so you, you want to go over the army comps really quick? Uh, yeah, sure. So we'll go ahead and start with my Orcs of Gundabad. Oh, All right, so... The defeated bastards. All right, <laughs> I've got <laughs> two units of the orc fellers, fellers, I think, and then I have three units of the snaga stalkers. But two of them have uh, armored upgrades, and I've got two units of the hillmen. I've got one unit or two units of the goblin band. One unit has a uh, armored upgrade, and I have two snaga archers. So that's my army. Nice. So my army, which I'm calling the bane of pixelated Apollo. <laughs> Um, I've gone ahead and got four units of Gondor Militia. They all have armor upgrades on them, and one of them has a sword upgrade. Uh, two of them also have an experience upgrade from the last battle, uh, which, you know, they managed to get to keep because we won the battle. Um, and I also have an Axeman uh, unit, which has, also has an armor upgrade, and also does have a Chevron of experience because he gained that from the last battle. And same with my Militia, uh, with my one unit of Marines. They have an armor upgrade and a Chevron. Then I've taken three units of Archers, and then I've taken taken a unit of ballistae which i went ahead and upgraded so um yeah which i used my upgrade on i haven't actually upgraded it it's just a plain ballistae okay yeah cool. so that, yeah. that is my army composition all right so you ready to uh I... to fight this out uh, yeah i'm ready are you ready there we go that's the oh, question jeez i don't know are you ready to I, be pushed back i to was like... actually pretty upset when you're like you know what i might get the ballista and i'm like <laughs> no damn he realized <laughs> uh, I mean, they might not even be that. I can't even remember like how effective they actually are. So, I guess... yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Hopefully, you use up like all your ammo in one choke point. Yeah, I mean, one section of the, the wall. good thing is something I didn't realize was that my archers actually. Oh no, because you have a hill advantage as well now. I didn't think about that. Your archers are probably similarly matched for range now. Do you think? Because um, I actually have a range advantage on you. Obviously, I'm not, obviously I'm not just gonna sit back and shoot you. But like I could do that if I wanted to. You could. I'm not. I'm not going to because that's just a bit kind of boring. But 
Like, what was hey, it? it's hey, it's part of the strategy. <laughs> uh, nah, I mean, I'm not that desperate to win, so <laughs> I know it'll just come naturally anyway. No, don't worry, don't Ooh. worry. I have ideas, okay? Uh, so. Okay, okay. Oh my god, if you brought out like a sneaky unit you know, of cavalry into this battle and just <laughs> charge me. Just no, like, no, that, then I would. I, I'm not lying to you. I got an infantry yeah, upgrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna actually leave my rams a little bit further back. Um. Just because I don't know what your range is with your archers, so I don't want to be instantly getting shot. So I kind of want to feel out this battle to start off with before I do anything crazy. You know, right. but there's no rush, it's a siege battle. So Right, oh, right, what, it, it takes time. What we it's, a, it's like a chess game. Yeah, what we should have done as well, we didn't do it on this one, we didn't put any time limit on it. Um, oh, yeah. Which, oh, yeah, we should have done which that. Which we should have done that. Well, we can get, keep like a mental, like maybe on your phone or something. Yeah, I can do that if you want. Well, how long are we saying that? I um, oh, how much time do you think is fair? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, you've only played siege battles. How long do you think it would take? To... <laughs> well, for Fort and Bailey, uh, thirty minutes. Does that sound good? We'll go thirty-five. But did you say? 35? Did you say forty or thirty? I said thirty. Okay, we'll go thirty-five. All right, that sounds fun. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, I can't even deploy my troops. My unit sizes are so large. Oh, I literally, that's, I hate that so much. Yeah, like, it was yeah. so frustrating, especially in the Warhammer mod as well. I'm trying to deploy all these, like, all these soldiers, and I just can't, and it's just so annoying. Yeah, it's it's the worst. That's the bad thing about mods, or playing on, like, super high. Yeah, um, like, high unit scale. Yeah. But, you know, it's cool with all these troops. Where are your archers? Okay, there they are. No, 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 they're just chilling in the back. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna let, I mean, we can speed it up as well if you want to. Um, uh, yeah, if you want to. But then obviously that won't affect the, the time I'm currently taking. I'm currently... Oh, yeah, that would, wouldn't it? Yeah, I can't obviously speed up the timer on my phone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we can just... We can speed up a little bit and we'll just... I don't know, take that into consideration. No, we'll just... Yeah, don't even... Uh, just, I don't even think it's a big deal, so... It could still just be 35 minutes, even if you speed it up. Okay, so do you want to speed it up then? Just once, yeah. cause you're, unless you're planning on coming out. Um, the closet. Mm, yeah, I would I would slow it down if I was going to come out and charge you. So okay. don't worry, I'm not going to like get you off guard in six speed or whatever. Okay, cool. <laughs> you're just like, huzzah! <laughs> yeah, <it's>, gotcha! <laughs> okay, cool. So do you need to speed up as well, or is it just me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, cool, that makes sense. Yeah, nice, there we go. So can you shoot me from here or not? Um, I can. Oh, okay. Fire. Remember, men, if we win this, man flash for everyone. Okay, cool. So my ballista aren't... Oh my god, you're slaughtering me. Am I? Yeah. I think the towers are firing too. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I should probably wait, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huzzah! Jesus. Oh! Oh! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, it's because I told him to attack you. <laughs> That's probably why. Guys, are you f insane? Yeah, my ballista isn't doing as good as I want. It's about ha half ammunition, and it's only destroyed one tower. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know, maybe it wasn't a smart idea, but I mean, that must be the decision I chose. Yeah. Wait, did you destroy a tower? No, I haven't destroyed one yet, but as in, like, I'm probably oh. only going to destroy one tower. I hate when you're right next to the towers and they're not activated. Yeah, for sure. That is frustrating. Cool, that's one tower down. <laughs> I've got about half ammunition left, so I feel like I can make another one. So I feel like that's actually a good buy. It's like if I didn't suicide all my archers there, then maybe that would have been worth it. But obviously I feel like I've lost too many archers for that to even be. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. I mean, the thing about the ballista is that it's pretty accurate. Yeah. So. But, but now it means that if I want to, I can actually get catapults, like like with one upgrade. Whereas you, with you, I think you have to go, oh, I'm not sure what the Orcs artillery is like. Uh, ballista catapults. Yeah, so you have to then get ballista if you yeah. want to get catapults, yeah. whereas I can just get catapults straight away now. If, yeah, you're ahead of me in the in the artillery department. Yeah, but obviously you Which makes sense because you're sieging me. Yeah, but obviously you're ahead of me in the... Infantry. Yeah. Oh, come on, activate the tower. Oh, look at all the arches I lost. Sad times. Ah, <laughs> uh, beautiful. Nice. There you go. Should I risk it for another one, or should I just focus for getting Nah. 
Let's, you. let's try and... I don't think we have, like, enough. Actually, no, if I wound up... If I smash up the gatehouse, it'll make my rams quicker to get through, right? Yeah. Cool. Sure. I think I might... Oh, I don't know. It's such decisions, decisions. <laughs> yeah, we'll just hit the Do you have enough ammo to knock it down? No, not to knock it down. But it means when oh. my ram gets there, it'll be easier. To, it won't take as long. Oh, now I can actually skirmish with my archers as well. Kill those damn archers. Yeah, fire, boys. Fire away. Okay, cool. I'm going to slow it down now because my assault might okay. might be coming. It might not. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that it's coming. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's just go through them that many points, actually. Okay. This is, this is it right here. One simple mistake can ruin it for the orcs of Gundabad. I mean, I don't think even if I beat you here, which I don't, I don't think will happen. Even if I beat you here, I don't think I'd be able to take um, a bigger city like Helm's Deep or like the Black Gate with like, yeah. the army I have right now. So it kind of does give you a safeguard, but obviously you don't want to give me that big, big of an advantage early on. Right, right. So in a way, the game balances itself out. Yeah, because obviously the, the more I win, the harder it gets for me to actually win. But, you know, I do, yeah. I do get a little bit of extra money. So because like what could ha end up happening is just I keep on pushing you back to the last city, um, to the last city. But then you keep on winning that battle. But then again, we keep on going back, back and forth, like on this game, on this map and then on the city map. So I'm still winning twice. Um, like I've still got that bit of an extra advantage because I've kind of won a few more times than you have. So I still have more money. Right, right, yeah. Money is definitely in your, your yeah. favor right now. But then obviously, so yeah, if you win again, yeah. you're really going to be ahead yeah. in the cash. I'm going to get one, an extra 500 and you're going to get... Well, I, I would have had 500 in total and you would have only have got... Uh, what, like... Well, you'd be 500 behind me no matter what. Yeah. God, my inventory's taking a pound in. Make out them hills, boys. <laughs> you're men of Gondor. I'm trying to kill as many as I can. Yeah, that's kind Come of. Come on, man, get in the position. That's kind of what I'm lacking at the moment. I just don't have enough infantry. I don't think with this army. I'm leading yeah. my uh, low, low level troops, like low armored troops at Your the back. Militia, though. yeah. Uh, also, does it show up in multiplayer battles? Yeah, I think it does. They get more armor. That's the one thing I really loved about uh, Medieval Two is when you upgrade their armor, it's actually a visual. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Like I, I really, really like that. Same with the sword upgrades as well. I think it changes their actual weapon, as well. Because, yeah, you can see my men actually have chain mail instead of just leather ma mail. Uh, leather right, yeah. Instead. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely such a cool change. Yeah. Okay, archers. Oh, do you have some... Are, are there some... Oh, my God, look at all your men. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, that's the thing about uh, evil factions, yeah. especially the orc ones. They just... They don't have great troops, but they just got a bunch. Yeah, for sure. Gondor militia. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long. Quickly, man, get in the formation. God, look at this. This is crazy. It's because this this place is so small and your unit scale is so big. It just looks so silly. I know. I know. It's like big old music festival. All oh, them fire arrows are racking up some kills. Yeah, they are. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Keep Spread up. out. Spread <laughs> out, lads. Our nice. Walls. One more down. Oh, my God. That's such a good volley. Oh, I need to get moving with my troops. Charge them. <laughs> nice. Good job, boys. I'm not sure why I charged out like that. That was probably a mistake on my end, so... Oh, no, my fire arrows and now the gates open. My archers are actually shooting my men in the back. No, thank you. It's so hard to manage my army here. Yeah, for sure. Alright. 
So far, so good. I like my chances. Yeah, now this is where the real fighting starts. Maybe. Oh, man. Oh, man. These archers have definitely racked up some kills, though. Yeah, they're getting a lot. I mean, look at all the dead bodies. Oh, there's some hillmen here as well. I need to be killing them. I didn't see them. <laughs> No, don't, don't hurt my hillman. Look at that fight. See, like Medieval 2 really captures the medieval type battle. Just yeah, like for sure. two heavy forces just clashing. Yeah, for sure. Oh, damn you. Oh my god, it is raining down fire on my men. I am actually hitting quite a few of my own men, though. Yeah, that's true. If that makes Still. you feel any better. <laughs> fire at will. Fire will! My marines are going to throw their whatever missile type they have. <laughs> Javis or whatever. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. How versatile they are. Fire, archers, fire. They're not throwing, bro. I don't know why. Come on. There we go, boys. Kill Look at them. Look that here. army. Oh, man. This is going to be quite the grind. Come on, archers, fire, please. You're just standing there with your bows. Okay, now we got push through the gate. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Into the breach and onto victory. My advisor knows what's going on. <laughs> oh crap, my troops are pushing you out. That's not good. That's what we want to happen. My, I don't really have a lot of men though left. Like, I've kind of lost quite a few men to these walls. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough trying to break in here. No, don't let him flank. <laughs> Go Snaga. Snaga stalkers. No, they messed up. Wow. That would have been so good, but some of them <laughs> there was back. There was a lone stalker stopping them. Oh, my God. Yes. Um, yeah, let's bring up my, my ballista crew as well. It sucks that there's only one gate. Yeah. I was going to try to sneak through another gate and attack your archers. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't get to do that. Have you got all your men committed now? Uh, no. Have you still got three R? There's just so many of them. I know. I mean, but we've, we've lost equal numbers right now. And I'm okay with that considering I had to attack. Well, yeah. And plus, I have more men, so... Yeah. But like equal percentages, so you've lost the same amount of percent of your army than I have of mine. Yeah, that's true. That is that's true. Hopefully my marines can get some work done. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Just need to kill these oh. hillmen. It's it's a desperate time now. Whenever I see players commit their archers into melee. <laughs> well, there's nothing else for them to do. No, I need to make sure I keep an eye out for my... Um, for my upgrades to see if any of my units which already have one chevron get upgraded what need, what, the reason I'm upgrade, uh, throwing my archers in just to try and throw the weight of numbers back in my favour because obviously yeah. at the moment you're pushing me back and that's probably a bad thing that I'm doing that I just well, there's not really, I can't really punish you at all though yeah. Like, I guess I guess more of my men are attacking more of your men so my the quality of my men will kind of shine here but I, it's not like I can shoot the back of them because I'll just be killing too many of my own men. I've even got my ballista crew in there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they're actually I like, like they're actually half decently upgraded, but they have like chainmail armor. Oh, jeez. So they just have a really bad shield. You are you're cutting through my men now. Is this? Come, I mean, it's still really close though. Anyway, where's your general? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Kill <laughs> I'm him, because now it's completely different. Because obviously, 
we don't have our generals fighting in the line because now we have a bit more money and we have a, like obviously you're defending we're not going to be throwing our generals in straight away yeah like in, yeah exactly like in a pitch battle the first battle we kind of had to yeah because we just didn't have any like i couldn't afford to let you just envelop me with all your your sheer numbers yeah so i had to put him in and you had to put him in just to try and beat the quality of my men keep firing i am out of arch uh ammo for my, my archers yeah, I'm pretty so much out of ammo. my marines have done a good job at kind of attacking the side of the gateway forces but my gateway forces have just not pushed in and whatsoever like yeah. they've been yeah, held they at that it. gate oh man this it's, is so close yeah each time as well it's mad I, I, so I'm, hey at least we're balancing it well right yeah for sure like i i think i'm i'm happy that i chose to go ballistae because if these if these towers were constantly shooting me right now you yeah. may be racking up the kills yeah for like the whole battle though like the towers haven't been activated because they're so buggy it's like even though you have troops nearby they don't get activated oh really that's annoying uh, they're just now activated so yeah that one to the right is activated yeah i can't see a flag on any of the other ones yeah they like go on and off oh that's a bit annoying I'm trying to get my archers to activate them yeah that'd be a good idea come on <laughs> <laughs> horn I love that horn. Yeah, I kind of wish I was playing as the elves right now just for their horn because their horn is really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's no orc horn. Oh, I just thought of quite a cool idea that what we could do like, maybe later on. So say we're on our like third fortress. So I pushed you all the way back to your, your, your last city. Yeah. What we could do is maybe we could do like a, a Helm's Deep where the elves turn up where we get like another YouTuber involved and he just comes <laughs> and like supplies you with like an extra couple hundred men or something. Yeah, that would be awesome. That should be like a really interesting. Like we could actually get like other people just to come in, to, you get like, involved. Yeah, yeah, like 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 when they play as like maybe uh, as Mordor or someone coming to supply you with troops. Yeah, yeah. But that should be really funny. Man, what a brawl! Oh, <laughs> my my men at the gate are starting to rout. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I need. I think they're fighting to the death though. I think. Oh, they are. Yeah. Come on, boys, push forward. I've still, I've still got some of my infantry on guard mode because I kind of just wanted to hold you in place. So I should probably take them off guard mode now. I think my breach on my left was my most successful one. I think, like, feel like these guys did do a lot of damage to you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it's because my archers on skirmish mode still. I'm such an idiot. No wonder they were <laughs> running away. Get involved, boys. Gondor Militia. Oh, this is just a mess. Lost half my men now. I'm having to throw in my general, though, now. Oh, yeah, same. Yes, come on. Nice, you've lost half your men now. God, look, that was literally like two seconds after each other as well. <laughs> that was so close. Like how, like the percentage we're losing is just so. Oh, I'm starting to break through though. In the, on the what your your left, I'm starting to break yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, my left. But you do have another unit there. Some snag archers you can throw in. Yeah, I'm keeping them back to activate that yeah, tower. tower. Yeah, the gatehouse is my my weakest point right now. Come on. My Axemen are doing a really good job, though. These guys just have so much damage. Yes! Killed your general. Oh, my God. Huzzah. That's not good. But, I mean, where have your men got to run to? If they do route, they'll run back to the city center, so... Yeah, that's true, but I'm about to do something very, very important. Don't worry, I have, I've noticed. What are you going to do about it? There's not really much I can do about it. <laughs> yes. But, like, hopefully, like, what I was hoping to do, like, my kind of plan here was to try and push you back on my flanks before my center broke so that I could kind of, like, kind of change from front so that I'm not fighting from behind. Yeah, I think that's going to win you the battle. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could push you back in time. 
Oh, one of my. Oh no, damn! If I lose, fuck. Because quite a few of my units are just getting some experience. Oh my god. Taking your walls, but I've got a mass route going on right oh, now. Oh wow! Yeah, I thought you were retreating. I was like, wow. God, if only my general just kept fighting a little bit longer. So yeah, I feel like this is me done. I've only got my axeman left and my. So now, now here's here's a question: Do I get to keep the experience I won in the last battle? Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, and you get to keep the experience you won in this yeah. battle. Because I'm gonna get a lot of experience from this, just because, you know. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Obviously, you've been grinding through my men. Damn! I knew yeah. I shouldn't have committed my general over there. I should have pushed him in my center. I think if I would have put my my general in the center, I would have won this. Yeah, maybe. It's just tough, you know? Like, yeah. three choke points to, to fight off this massive horde of troops. Yeah, for sure. So, that, that's, again, that's part of the balancing. Of for the sure, like, we don't want this to be over in, like, two yeah, battles. Three, three, yeah. Like, yeah, three battles. We want to have, like, a, a very big back and forth. And, yeah, and so we're going to be back in the fields yeah, again. Exactly. With but some like, what, we can, cool what units. we can do is we can try find other maps as well. So it's not just fighting on a plain field. Maybe we can find a map where there's like two hills on either side or something. Yeah, um, like an even, fair yeah, map. Yeah, so where we both have hills and it kind of depends on who wants to skirmish and who doesn't. And like, so then we kind of change up the way we bring our armies and stuff. Right. For sure. So obviously it just won't be the same map over and over again. So we'll still keep it for well, interesting. Now I, now I just got to think, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this battle. Like, I'm like, oh, my archers have actually come back, though. <laughs> Your general uh, has rallied you. Come back. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. There, there we it go. is. There it is. My general is being enveloped, rally. though. He's enveloped on all sides. He is fighting only the snag archers and some of your better infantry. Your fellas, but... Yeah, no, those axemen. Yeah, they're, they're pretty pack, tough. They're packing a punch. If I would have won this, they would have got two chevrons, and so would my marines as well. Oh damn! So you're good. Like it's a good thing you did manage to kill them. Like you did manage to win this battle. Otherwise, that would have been pretty brutal for you. Yeah, yeah, it would have been tough. God. So now we're gonna be even in the money. Yeah. Oh, it's so annoying. But I was hoping so much that like, my gem, like committing my gem there, wouldn't lose me the battle. But I guess it did. That's Sad. My general's still fighting, though. He's still alive. Where is the bastard? <laughs> My axemen are still going as well. Yeah, the axemen are like a really good offensive unit. Yeah, they are. They're just hacking up my people. And my archers are actually half decent in combat as well, but morale just isn't great. That's the only problem with them. Hey, you did pretty well, though. I mean, I'm down to like nothing yeah like if you look at the, the, the things i've killed 75 percent of your army yeah so that's not bad so for three choke points killing 75 percent of my army that's pretty nice yeah the reason i didn't smash down more of your walls was because um i didn't want to act like i didn't want to get shot from the towers from the side as much oh yeah like, i kind of wanted to avoid that as, as best as possible i still think you should have though yeah yeah definitely it would have helped me out in this battle and obviously you're the siege expert so i need to <laughs> i need to learn yeah, yeah, because the towers, like, yeah, they might get a couple kills, but yeah, opening yeah. up more choke points is just way more valuable. Yeah, I'm learning. That's that's the thing. I'm using this, yeah, yeah. this experience to learn about medieval from you. So <laughs> you'll end up teaching me, and it'll be when I come and destroy you. It'll be your. We can we can be siege brothers. <laughs> yeah, I've only got my I've got one soldier, one axeman left. He's fighting to the death. God, yeah, I know. They they are. Oh, he's dead. Oh, R.I.P. Oh, nice. He deserves to die. He ra he ran before the end, so he deserves to die. I think we die. captured him. Oh. We didn't kill him. Well, kill him. Make sure you kill him. Stick his head on the spike. <laughs> Damn. No, uh, he ran. He ran. Good... He ran before the end. He deserves it. If he came back to me, I'd send him like uh, like um, Faramir did to uh, Mozilla. I said yeah, but that guy just hated his own yeah, son. Yeah, I know. He was pretty brutal. <laughs> like the, in the extended edition, <laughs> the the two towers when they're showing Boromir conquering Oscilia. Oh, yeah. And he's like... <laughs> yeah, he's and Faramir, so... Faramir's here. He's like, hey, Dad. He's like, oh, God. Just <laughs> yeah. get out of my sight. So my, my Axeman killed 350 of your men. Wow. See, look at all the kills you got. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, is So you, you noticed the experience on... It should just show chevrons, right? 
uh, yeah, on your units. Um, yeah, if, if you go I didn't to get the, any. If, really, if you go to the battle statistics, it actually says experience gain, gained, and it should show yeah, you all like, zero. Oh, really? <laughs> I've got minus ones, but obviously we're not uh, we're, we're not counting that. Yeah, you're not you're not minusing. Yeah, I mean I, I don't get any other experience because my units I didn't win the battle, so we're not counting any more of that. So yeah, that was that was a pretty interesting battle. You managed to hold me back. So we go now now we go back to uh, planes. Yep. And yep. We go back to the planes. An equal and footing. We both have uh, one upgrade we can spend. Yeah, which uh, I'm sure we'll decide next episode because I'm not really sure who I want to upgrade yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, might want to keep it secret for a little bit, you keep know. Keep it secret, so we... keep it safe. Yeah, and uh, yeah. It, oh, and you get less money. So yeah. now the money's even. Yeah. So what's that like? like so like... yeah, I'll get five thousand seven fifty. You'll get five thousand seven fifty. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. All right. So back to being even. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. See you guys later.